out as our family, and we're from CFC USA! CFC USA started out with much promise, with the CFC global theme of call to holiness as a springboard and foundation to many of its new and existing initiatives, as well as to the hopeful achievement of its noble and ambitious goals. Then, like the disciples in the boat with Jesus, we were caught off guard by unexpected turbulent storms. At the start of the year, we were so excited. You know, we were so excited with you know, our response to the call to holiness, you know, our response as is, is building external and internal infrastructures to support unprecedented growth, you know, and growth in what? Growth in holiness, growth in, in, in numbers, growth in generosity. And we have the external infrastructure now in place. We have a home office, a CFC USA home office with a servant national in place. You know, we have an IT team in place uh, we have people now updating our manual streamlining processes to be more effective, efficient, and empowered. We have the internal uh, infrastructures in place as well so we can grow in holiness, in generosity, in virtue. And we had ambitious goals that we have set, uh, that, um, you know, dreams that we have for the year. You know, 20K in 2020, you know, 20,000 members from 15,000 in 2020. What a great goal. You know, 5,000 CSPs, 20% increase in tithes and first fruit offerings. And before COVID-19, guess what? We already surpassed our first fruit offerings from previous year. Now this happens 
COVID-19 happens? Should we now pack it up and say, hey, let's now adjust oral goals, our dreams, because it's now turning into a nightmare. And if we, but if we believe that these goals were prayerfully discerned, then the answer is no. And I'm reminded of, of uh, the story of Joseph the dreamer. You know, Joseph, through God's grace and through God's inspiration, prepared for the seven-year famine. They had food, they had supplies to carry them through. Brothers and sisters, CFC USA is prepared. And CFC USA, like the entire world, we cannot ignore the havoc that disrupted our lives brought by the pandemic. And now, the social unrest in our nation. But through all the pain, suffering, and storms, God, in His usual, mysterious, yet masterful ways, has continued His restoration work of holiness in our homes and families. Yes, God is in control, and we are not. So as one CFC USA family, we praise God for His love, mercy, and faithfulness. And we pray that we remain faithful and obedient to Him and the mission and vision that He entrusted to us. So He may bring holiness into our homes, and we in turn bring healing to the world. Please join us in this prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, the pandemic has closed our places of worship and denied us the most blessed gifts of the sacraments. We praise and thank you, Lord, for opening our hearts to thirst for your word, to hunger for your most precious body and blood in the Eucharist, and yearn to converse with and encounter you in a deeper way. Thank you for giving us the initiative not just to pray, but to pray harder even with this lockdown through Holy Hour, Adoration Online, Reconciliation through a Daily Examination of Conscience, Divine Mercy Chaplet and Three O'Clock Prayer, Eucharist Online, Rosary of Families, Household, Areas Across CFC USA. Thank you for the gift of hope. We continue to depend on a God who never abandons us, a God who continues to sustain us through the gift of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful gift of the 10-week online Ignition Spiritual Exercises by Father Ed Broom that allowed around 4,000 CFC, SFC, Hold, Soul, and CFC Y members from the USA, the Caribbean, and the South America to accept the CFC USA online ISE challenge to further deepen our prayer lives and our love and friendship with Jesus Christ. Hi, Father Ed. This is CFCY Youth, Southern California. Your talks and your handouts have been super helpful for us, and a lot of us have seen so much growth in our spiritual lives. And right now we're on week seven and we're really happy to be here and so thankful and appreciative for all the work that you put into this and i think julian has a couple words to say hi father ed this is julian and um, i just want to say thank you for uh, helping me find ways to get closer to god and also for helping me find ways to strengthen my prayer life um, especially by giving us uh, these bible verses the stories that really help us apply what we learn into our own prayer lives and into our own lives in order to get closer to God. Thank you for introducing us to the Holy Hour. We'll be making sure to uh, strengthen ourselves with our hours of power, and we wish you the best. Greetings Thank you. from the Thank you. team of Florida. Hi, Father Broom. Thank you for your sharing of insights, wisdom, and gift of knowledge in the ISC retreat. We appreciate all the insightful message from the ISE as it reminds us that the Christian message of love is willing the good for others. The ISE gave us the guidance to take our spiritual life to the next level. This 10-week retreat has strengthened our contemplative prayer life. Even our 8-year-old son looks forward to listening. Through contemplative prayer, I felt how loved I am when I was allowed to hold baby Jesus during nativity, even ahead of the three kings. And I felt how much Jesus suffered in his passion for love of us. Our response of love is to evangelize others and to bring more souls closer to Jesus. What a blessing, a real gem that invigorates our contemplative life. This retreat 
truly deepens our understanding on the knowledge of God, His creations, and the purpose of our existence. We don't mind doing this again every year, either personal or communal. With the grace of God, we will continue to strive hard to work towards Christ, to praise God, to reverence God, and to serve God. We are grateful and God bless always. Heavenly Father, COVID-19 has shut down businesses, offices, and schools. Thank you for allowing many of our families through the government stay-at-home mandates to reconnect with one another, to be blessed with the time and opportunity to break bread, to share stories, dreams, and moments of consolation, and show support in times of desolation. And more importantly, to pray together. Praise God for the love, resilience, and the resourcefulness of the family members to ensure special occasions such as graduations, birthdays, and anniversaries continue to be celebrated in unique and creative ways. Father God, the social unrest affecting our whole nation brought about by the fight against violence and racism, especially towards our black brothers and sisters, has caused confusion, chaos, fears, and anxieties in an already stressful environment. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to open wide our hearts to social injustice and the evils of racism, biases, and prejudice that plague not only our nation, but our hearts. Thank you, Lord, that we, as a family and as a community, especially with our older children, can openly converse, discuss, and share our inner thoughts and feelings on this matter to enable us to respond in peace, prayer, education, advocacy, conversion, and encounter. Heavenly Father, coronavirus prevented us from gathering together for our household meetings, teachings, assemblies, retreats, fellowship, and other CFC activities. Thank you for the grace to persevere in our ministry activities and for providing inspiration that gave birth to our comprehensive CFC USA New Normal E guidelines that have provided continuity and order in our community and allowed us to maintain our CFC culture and activities with much passion amidst the challenging circumstances. Thank you, Lord, for enhancing our desire and fulfilling our CFC mission and vision by accepting and adapting to the present circumstances, not by cursing the darkness, but by continuing to be a brighter beacon of Christ's light in this dark world. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of technology, our new highway to heaven through the various online platforms combined with renewed energy of our family members that have resulted in record attendance in all areas of our online household meetings, teachings, assemblies, and retreats. Thank you for the timely and relevant reflections of the heart teachings, such as the crown of thorns conquers the coronavirus, that provided us a guide to share and discuss with each other our fears and hope amidst this pandemic that impacted our lives. Thank you, dear Jesus, for the gift of your mother, who you gave to us as our heavenly blessed mother at the foot of your cross. Thank you as well for leading us closer to her so she can lead us closer to you. Praise God for the inspiration to consecrate our CFC USA families to the love and protection of our dearest mother on May 1st. Praise God for the beautiful gift of the rosary that most, if not all, our CFC USA areas pray on a nightly basis sometimes more than once. The rosary has been like David's slingshot for us to conquer the Goliaths we presently face in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the time and means to rededicate ourselves to the work of human dignity through the resurgence of the CFC USA Gift of Life Ministry and the formation of the GOL team composed of members from various family ministries. Thank you for making it possible to start the series of teachings on natural family planning with over 150 couples in attendance from various states and other countries, including the Philippines, Canada, and Curacao. We praise God for opening our hearts and minds in the growing need of other teachings that uphold the dignity of life, such as mental health and racial justice. Lord God, the pandemic put a sudden halt in our face-to-face -face evangelization efforts. Thank you for bestowing upon us the inspired initiative Operation for Our Lord, which has provided CFC USA with an integrated, powerful, and practical approach to evangelization and mission. 
Operation for Our Lord has opened the hearts of each CFC household to share the gospel, proclaim the good news to others, and boldly witness to the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God for the prayerfully discerned Operation for Our Lord battle plan from the CFC USA National Council comprises five submissions as follows. Divide and Conquer 153 Go Gold and Global for God's Greater Glory Uncop One Light, One Life Once a CFC, Always a CFC Holy Hour 24-7 Bless the main objective of DC-153 and G6 that is to unleash the power of the Holy Spirit in the household through effective, efficient, and empowered evangelization which includes conducting online DC-153 CLPs. Praise God for the many DC-153 households who are responding to this call by either conducting or planning to conduct online DC-153 CLPs all over the USA. Dear Lord, the mandated lockdowns which kept us away from our churches, household meetings, and assemblies have threatened our ability to give our tithes and love offerings. Thank you, Lord, for providing us a new way of giving. Online giving through Faith Direct is a tremendous blessing for our community, as well as all major areas in CFC USA have enrolled in, and its members are now giving through this electronic means. Thank you as well for granting us generous hearts to support the Love and Mercy Fund, which has provided and continues to provide financial help to our brethren afflicted by the pandemic. Thank you, Father God, for revealing your perfect plan by establishing a national information technology team right before the urgent need of going virtual on all of our CFC activities. The improved CFC USA website, the new CFC USA mobile app, one CFC USA YouTube and Facebook channels all contribute to provide a communication support for the members pastoral and service needs. Thank you for the perfect time to build the necessary infrastructure and support for our CFC USA servant leaders through the newly established CFC USA home office with the servant national and administrative support. Heavenly Father, COVID-19 has claimed many lives, especially the vulnerable, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems. We praise God for the care and generosity of our members who contributed and delivered food, groceries, and personal items to a family after the husband passed away due to COVID, leaving behind his spouse and four sons.
Thank you for our CFC brothers and sisters in the COVID-19 hotspots such as New York and New Jersey, whose fate has translated into action. Our selfless brethren delivered food, groceries, and personal items to members and families on quarantine, provided transport to those who needed assistance to go to hospitals at the risk of getting the virus themselves. We praise God and honor the many CFC USA frontliners, doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, caregivers, for their heroic sacrifices and selfless service. same manner, the virus crossed borders globally. We thank you for the expression of magnanimity, the love, care, and generosity that have extended beyond our shores and are continuing to reach out to the world. Thank you for the blessing of technology and music, uniting us all in CFC USA with many others around the world in one great praise fest, giving your name praise and glory. Thank you for sustaining our local and international missions, equipping us with the manpower, talent, and other resources combined with the power of the Holy Spirit to make possible the spread of your gospel to all these areas. Despite the pandemic, you have opened new opportunities to bring good news in different and creative ways and approaches. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that connects us in faith and joy as we come together in worship. We praise God for making the way for us to pray gather and learn together with the whole world during the Ignatian spiritual exercises and the Pentecost teaching. Despite the pandemic, you have inspired the community to connect and be one in witnessing to the world the power of your spirit. You alone, Lord, have called us to witness your saving grace and love. You alone, Lord, are enough. You willed each of us to share in the joy and love of your outpouring grace. Thank you, Lord, for ANCOP USA, which has given the donors and volunteers an opportunity to live out your command to love our neighbors. Through the works of ANCOP, God has allowed marginalized members of our society in the Philippines, Latin America, and elsewhere to experience your love through others. Couples for Christ, your, your group is very important. God has placed you in Couples for Christ for a reason. And you're, you're purposely doing the exercise with Father Broom for a reason. This doesn't happen by chance. You're called to work with Christ to save the world. You're called by forming your own families and using your intelligence, the infrastructure you have, your formation, your education, your profession, your outlets. You're called to save souls. Who knows, maybe it's the couple Couples for Christ throughout the world is going to be the leaven in the mass, the salt, the light, to bring people back to Christ, and you're in it. Be grateful, but be very humble, but be generous with God. Don't hold back. Dear Lord, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, let it be said, that our hearts and our minds have been transformed with God's grace, with the precious body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the intercession of our Blessed Mother, so we can be families in the Holy Spirit, renewing the new face of the earth. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. There is a candle in every soul 
Some brightly burning, and some dark and cold. And there is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his own. Carry your candle and run to the darkness. Seek out the helpless, confused and torn, and hold out your candle for all to see. Take your candle and go light your world. Take your candle. Frustrated brother, see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way. See now your sister, she's been robbed and lied to, still holds a candle without a flame. So carry your candle. Hearts are blazing, so let's raise our candles and light up the sky. Praying to our Father in the name of Jesus, make us a beacon in darkest times.